Megan mouthing off reveals luxury life as a kid. Her poor life story needs an explanation. Hello friends, welcome to the breaking news of the day about the horrible liar Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Meghan Markle accidentally revealed royal life as a baby in a new podcast episode that makes her a blatant liar. Specifically, this hypocrite revealed a strange new experience at a Korean spa as a child. This led many viewers to assert that the story of Meghan's poor past life was completely false. It was refuted by Meghan herself in this latest podcast episode. After a three-week hiatus brought on by the passing of Queen Elizabeth II on September 8th, the Duchess of Sussex returned with a new episode of Archetypes Today. Meghan discussed the Dragon Lady myth with stand-up comedian Margaret Cho and journalist and broadcaster commentator Lisa Ling. This stereotype used to be prevalent in movies and affects Asian women and people of Asian origin. It originates from a dream of Orientalism, as stated in the fourth episode of Archetypes, and depicts a figure akin to the femme fatale, a stunning but dangerous lady. Megan described her childhood in Los Angeles, where she was exposed to a variety of cultures that you could see, feel, hear, and taste on a daily basis. This was before she began discussing the dragon lady archetype. The Duchess of Sussex mentioned going to a Korean spa with her mother, Doria Ragland, after stating she loves learning about various cultures. She said, If you've never gone, let me just say that it's a really humiliating experience for a girl going through puberty. Because when you go into the room, there are maybe 90 ladies of all ages waiting to have a body scrub on one of the tables that are lined up in a row. I only want a swimming suit. However, you are not permitted. My mother and I would walk upstairs, sit in a room, and have a hot bowl of the tastiest noodles once I had recovered from my teenage shame. Megan said that at the time, she was aware of this aspect of Asian culture from her upbringing and had not been exposed to the more harmful stereotypes that Asian women have endured for a long time. The much-anticipated comeback of this series was revealed last week on Archetype's official Spotify page. Regularly scheduled programs will resume on Tuesday, October 4th, according to the brief statement. Megan's latest episode, titled The Demystification of Dragon Lady, was released on September 6th and is now available. It included a discussion about the stigma, difficulties, and pleasures of being single with actor and author Mindy Kaling. The Duchess said that she was an ugly duckling as a child in a confession that Miss Kaling found moving. She also recalls feeling irritated by the narrative that developed when her connection with Prince Harry became public and people began, pra began praising her for how fortunate she was that he had picked her. And eventually, after hearing it a billion times, you think, well, I selected him too, she added. Then she said, fortunately, I had a partner who was refuting that story for me and saying, you've got it all wrong. You selected me, thus I'm the lucky one. However, it is gendered, stereotyped, and based on archetypes, so you're really lucky. And it just serves to reinforce the notion that you look for affirmation from others rather than recognizing your own deservingness. In the first episode of Archetypes, which focused on debating and dissecting typecasts that aim to keep women back, the topic of ambition was discussed, along with this term may take on a negative connotation when used on a woman. The Duchess discussed this with tennis star and friend Serena Williams. On the first day of the Sussex's 2019 trip to South Africa, Meghan also disclosed that a fire started in the nursery where her baby Archie was meant to be resting. She also appeared to chastise Buckingham Palace staff members for urging her and Harry to continue with their day of engagements, despite the fact that it was obvious that while many were shocked by the unfortunate occurrence, no one had been wounded. Meghan and Mariah Carey discussed the duality of the term diva in the second episode. 
It is said that Meghan Markle had too much fun in the new podcast episode, revealing her blatant lies. The audience discovered inconsistencies in Meghan's stories. They said, It wasn't long ago she was saying she grew up poor and had to work under the legal age to help the family, that she clipped coupons, sold scrunchies for extra money, and could only afford $5.99 salads. But she attended a spa on a regular basis? I guess she was the kind of poor that goes to expensive private schools, has holidays around the world, dance lessons, acting lessons, and visits a Korean spa regularly. I wouldn't mind being that kind of poor. Megan is a blatant liar. Most of the stinking statements she makes are not trusted by the audience. Many people don't believe her story of unboxing at the Korean spa. One representative said, Very much doubt whether Meghan Markle ever went to a naked spa. In her dreams, maybe. As for being an ugly duckling back then, she wouldn't amount to much now without the plastic surgery, fake hair, and teeth. Being told how lucky she was that Harry chose her, and responding that she chose him too, wonder whether she'd still have chosen him if he'd been a balding, ginger-pink-complected plumber with close-set eyes. After all, what's there not about a wealthy British prince to love? At her age, she and with Suits, her only show ending, must have thought all her Christmases had come at once. Another said, Megan was never at this spa, all this lies again. Just like people never all cheered for her in South Africa, and there was never a fire in Archie's room, and the press were never racist to her son. All lies. Megan is racist. In NYC, she told how poor her childhood was, and was only taken out to eat with her father occasionally. Now she's bragging about a rich life with her mother, who never saw her between ages 8 and 18. She should keep notes of her story so she won't be caught telling lies all the time. She lives in a fantasy world. Megan is no lady to talk of such things. She is unworthy of and unfit to use the title of a Duchess of England. Maybe this sort of thing can play in some parts of the continent, but not in Britain. The British people deserve far better. It is said that Meghan is a raw junkie who explores new cultures. She has attacked British culture by secretly searching for royal styles to approach Harry. Then she silently sabotaged the British monarchy and took Harry from the royal family. With that said, Meghan is an untrustworthy person. And whatever story gets on television, it's pre-written. What do you think of Meghan Markle's ridiculous story in her latest podcast episode? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.